What's up, guys? Matt here coming at you with a quick look at this trailer that was sent over from HobbyDetails.com. So this is a 116-118 uh, trailer, basically to pull behind something like the TRX4M maybe or whatever. We've got plans for it. But um, this is like an all-aluminum trailer. Looks really nice. And, I mean, it's got some directions here. It looks like a lot of bolts to put together, so gonna get busy on that or put Liam to work. But this thing, uh, you know, I don't know. I've kind of got mixed feelings on this one. I've seen this price from like 80 bucks all the way to 160 bucks. I don't know. Um, it is packaged very well. One thing I noticed right off is how stiff these are which is kind of good for a trailer because you know most of our 1.0 wheels are just gonna squish in half but my main thing was like man i'd like to get a hold of some of this material make me some dual sage foams out of it but this is like a very hard foam inside of here these aren't bead locks they're just glue on but uh, they're not going to come off so you really wouldn't even have to glue them but you can see this thing's packaged up very nice everything's in bags separated to the way you need them in the direction so uh, i'm gonna get started on this thing and then once it's together we'll talk about it i'm not gonna do a full install video they're gonna do one of those i think um, but it does have working lights that run off of two triple a batteries and so i'm interested to kind of see how this goes together and looks i've seen some pictures of it and everybody's wondering like it looks like it sits very high and just kind of weird so um, let's put this thing together. I'll get it back up here and then we'll take a look at it. So here we have it all together. You can see it is a very nice quality, all aluminum. It has the lights here, which will flash or stay on solid. Um, this <laughs> Liam started putting this together. You may have seen my short and he got the rails on backwards. He was getting ready to move to the next step and he was like, oh, these are on backwards. I'm done. <laughs> so I had to take it back apart and start over, but it did go together really well. Um, I had one, these axles are threaded on both sides to mount these leaf springs. And this one, I did break a screw off in here. Luckily I had a screw that I needed. So I just flipped the axle over and mounted it to the other side. Uh, this thing does sit really high you can see it's kind of weird how much room we have in here and it's so stiff maybe those leaves would break in but on the, a trailer like this with not much weight it, it's gonna be a while i don't see them even breaking in that much um i think this would look better sitting kind of down like this so that's I'm, that's what i'm gonna mod okay and it's gonna be a very easy mod let me show you how we will do that so we're just gonna take these last two screws in the front and the rear, and I'm just gonna drill some new holes up here somewhere. Because if this was sitting up here, see how it, it brings it up? So I can, I can mount it up here somewhere, and it's gonna bring that up. When I do the rear, it's gonna bring that one out. It's gonna spread our tires a little farther apart, but I think I would rather do that then have this thing sit jacked up. So that looks much better in my opinion and still got a few things to work out. I definitely will want stiffer springs on the rear of this. It is completely squatted at the moment. So just putting the trailer on there basically weighs that thing down. I do plan to do that. And then I still got to get this front down even with the rear here, but I ended up not having to drill new holes I use some different screws here. You will need some M2.5 by like 16 probably to be safe, 12 or 16, but I'll link a kit in the description that comes with an assortment of the 2.5 screws. But basically all I did was the directions show this axle being on the underneath side of the leaf springs. So I flipped them, I put them on the upper side. So they're now up here versus down here. And that raised everything up it was a little too far up, it would spin. You were sitting basically about right here, 
but if you hit any sort of bump, it was just gonna stop the, the wheels. So uh, I put some spacers in here and you can see, I just used the ball stud that was sitting on the bench here, right there, brought that down. I did the front, I just did a bushing in there, a little less, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and do a spacer that's basically the exact same here. And that will bring this down a little bit to match this one. And then I think we'll be good overall. Uh, these leaf springs are fairly stiff, so they're not really gonna flex that much with just the weight of something like this on it. So when you're running this thing, you've got some room in there for this to travel. And that takes quite a bit of force to move that. So it's not going to do that on its own. I mean, it takes a lot of force to push that thing down. But um, in my opinion, that worked pretty well. And I didn't have to go drilling a bunch of holes and doing all that stuff. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and get this down a little bit. And then we'll hook this thing up and go run it, hopefully. I'm going to run it, pull it with this for now until I can get me another hitch for the TRX-4M. And then maybe I'll pull with this and haul around like one of my bouncer-style builds or something. So uh, we'll get this axle sorted out, and then we'll go for a run. So once I got the ride height sorted out and where I wanted it, my main issue with this trailer is the weight. I mean... It's a nice solid build, which is good, but it weighing 878 grams. Then you add a truck onto that. I was pulling the Traxxas here that comes in at 678. Um, once you do that, it gets pretty tough for a normal 18th scale truck to pull this off road. Now I know these are small trucks and we're usually not gonna be running them on gravel like this, but still, if you're gonna be off road with this, trying to pull it up any sort of hill at all or uh you know just rough dirt areas even uh, like loose dirt there's so much weight in the rear it would probably really cause this thing to spin you can see it did pull it but it struggled so i think going off road with this would be a little tough um now on the flat ground on concrete like it it pulls it really well but I just, I'm not too sure about it on any sort of off-road. Uh, you know, the gravel here, once I get it going, it pulls it. But it, it's a little tough having all that weight. So, you know, if you don't have a rig that's heavily weighted in, in front of it and maybe a more powerful motor combination, uh, it's going to be a little bit tough to drag this thing around off-road for sure. Now here you can see on the concrete, it pulls it just fine. Um, and I did change out the rear springs on this rock van to some springs that came from some old SCX24 shocks that were just very stiff. I put them on the rear of this so it wasn't completely squatting the rear of this van. And it did well pulling it on flat ground. All in all, this is a very solid built trailer. I think once you kind of make a few modifications, make it your own, for me, I just had to lower that ride height. I couldn't deal with this thing sitting all jacked up. It's gonna be a nice solid trailer to pull whatever I wanna pull. You're just kind of gonna need a rig that you're dedicating to pull with because, you know, like my rock van, I put stiffer springs in the rear. Before I did that, as soon as it really just putting the trailer on there, it was squatting the rear almost all the way. As soon as I put anything on it, the rear end was just squatted out. So you're probably going to want to dedicate a rig to pulling this, which is, you know, I mean, that's what we do in real life. I don't pull things with my wife's van, you know, like I have a truck for that. So um, set you up a truck to pull it. And this should be a nice, solid trailer. I mean, it's very well built, very thick, not going to bend bow break i don't think you know if you break it don't be mad at me but but it is very solid i did change out the rod end up here to fit my rock van mount this just has a piece of all thread that screws in there so you can screw in whatever rod end you need to make it fit this is also adjustable here up and down so if your truck sits way high you can bring this up uh, so that's nice that you get a little bit of adjustment you could probably even flip this entire thing if your if your truck's set really high. You could spin this around and go up and down and get it even higher, I would think. But you can see there's some holes in there for adjustment to bring this whole tongue up or down 
So they've, they've thought ahead and, and did some things. I kind of wish they had just lowered it out of the box, but <clears throat> overall, pretty cool little trailer. You've got the hooks on the ramps. The ramps do fold down very nice. So, you know, if you want to make a scale vid where you're driving up on the trailer and everything, you can definitely do that. Um, I think it's a pretty good build, really. Now, I haven't seen a dead set price on these. I think around 80 bucks. I think the price could come down a little bit, but there is some very solid parts here. My lights did start working again, the flashing. They were coming on just fine, but the flash side, they wouldn't flash, but uh, it just started working again. So I don't know if the battery was just not connected well or something was going on in here. I didn't touch anything. It just started working. So um, I'm glad that's back. But overall, very well well built trailer i think it just needs a few modifications to make it your own no issues with the lights like dragging coming loose anything like that everything worked well the way i have it besides it is a little bit heavy so um you guys let me know what you think about that and because you stuck around to the end of this video we're going to give this brand new one away so this one is the exact same thing brand new in the box never been touched so here's what we're gonna do i want to hit the 16,000 subscriber mark i've been on that 15k forever it's not a huge deal but when i click on my youtube studio to try to find comments and stuff you know i'm tired of seeing that 15k so let's hit 16 um feels like we've been there forever so many people watch that aren't subscribed subscribe if you haven't share the video you know, let your friends know they can win a free trailer. I mean, this is 80, 100 bucks maybe. Um, let them know, share it, get the word out there. Uh, really just because, you know, we want to give as many people as possible a chance to win something cool. Like I said, all you got to do to win is make sure you're subscribed and click the bell because you're going to want to know when I do the winnings video and you're not going to know if you don't. All right. Um, make sure somewhere in your comment below that you include the word trailer. That's the keyword I'm gonna use to select the winner. So when I go to the computer, I'm gonna put in there, it must include the word trailer. So make sure you use that word somewhere in your comment. Doesn't matter if you tell me to go fly a kite, put trailer in there somewhere, all right? Um, because that is what's gonna be required in your comment. But just uh, share it, you know, tell your buddies about it. They got a chance to win a trailer, whatever. I just wanted to share this, give this away to somebody because I appreciate you guys. It really doesn't matter if, even if we don't hit 16 K in a week or something, we're going to give this away. So, uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody for watching. I hope this is a decent giveaway. I just kind of spur of the moment decided to give it away because they sent me too. So, uh, I appreciate you guys and, um, let me know what you want to see next. Peace.